Jai Shri Ram, 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 Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. And it's just me today, um, and uh, for, for this video, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to you over to us on Patreon. Follow us on your Twitter account, subscribe to the like button. And today we're doing a movie. Insert Rick going, which is what he likes to do. Uh, today I'm doing a movie review of the just released. I saw it just, I just got home. From seeing it from Adi Porush. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, I do apologize. The Pan India film, if you will. Uh, I saw it in Telugu. That's all they were really showing here. Uh, I know it was filmed in, I believe, Telugu and Hindi. I don't know if it was filmed in others. Obviously, you guys can let me know. But it was directed by Om Raut. If I'm, once again, mispronouncing that, I apologize. Uh, starring Prabhas, uh, Saif, Ali Khan, and Creedy. Uh, are your are your main leads in this. Obviously, there's a whole bunch of other people, but it's telling of the big Indian... Uh, I got in trouble for calling it mythology last time. I get it. It's y'all's history. I get it. That's in every comment. Uh, that depicts the triumph of good over evil of Ram, Sita, and um, Lak... Lak Lakesh. I'm bad with these names, so uh, do forgive me when I inevitably either don't know the name or butcher it. It is all because I'm an idiot. I do apologize. But I'm, I'm watching this. I watched this alone. A couple reasons. One, Rick wasn't available. Two, Rick wasn't able to watch, which me and my wife just did. If you'd like to go check out, we just watched um, and did a watch along of on the channel of uh, the 1993 anime film Ramayana, um, and I, I'm actually glad he didn't he didn't come because this film definitely th makes it makes you feel that it thinks the audience already knows this story. And if you don't, you're going to be very confused by different characters about stuff that's happening. Uh, and so he would have been very confused. I'm very glad me and my wife watch it. We really enjoy it. Please go watch that, that watch along of it. But this is basically the an ad, a modern adaptation of it, obviously infamous uh, with the trailers and stuff that went wrong with the VFX and, and that kind of stuff. Um, but and I, 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 I struggle if I'm going to do a full spoiler or non-spoiler because everybody knows this story in India. I'm going to try to keep it mostly non spoiler, but there's some stuff I want to talk about in spoiler section. But I'll try to keep it mostly non spoiler, even though obviously I know most of you know this story. Uh, and it doesn't really deviate from it, it, at least in my opinion, what uh, my knowledge of this. And so if there's stuff that is incorrect or that I say that is wrong or that I ask a stupid question and it's said in the much longer versions, I only know the anime and the. Somebody sent uh, Leland like a comic book of this story as well that has a little more detail than the, the anime had. So that's basically the knowledge that I have of this story. And it basically follows the bullet points of that story into this story. But um, so I'm going to do mostly non spoiler. Uh, I'll get into and then I will let you know before I get into some spoils. But um, did I like it? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I enjoyed myself in this film. Believe it or not, because I know a lot of people crucified this film, including us, especially with the VFX. And we will get into the VFX. Um, but overall, I was entertained for a very fast, it felt like a very fast three-hour movie. Uh, and so... That, you know, is, is a goal of, of a movie is to be entertaining. And I was entertained. Uh, and I thought it did a good job at trying to adapt what I the, the story that I knew from the anime version into a uh, to, in 2023 uh, in a very difficult film. And I said on Twitter, I said after after the opening of uh, Prabhas, when, when Prabhas came on, I said that was a cool opening. 
God, I wish they had a Marvel budget, meaning a $200, $300 million budget, because this story, and I know they they had a a huge budget. I know that for India, right? But a a movie that is 99% VFX, it's almost all on green screen, I feel like, requires to look Marvel level, and this is a Marvel level story, if not bigger, uh, to get correct. Now, Getting to the VFX before we get into the thing, because that's the most infamous part. Yes, I enjoyed this, right? And actually, it's, it was very overblown, because for the most part, a lot of times, you're, while you're sitting there and you're like, this is really good. This is great. There is a 10% still, maybe, maybe 10% of, I don't want to call it laughably bad VFX, but majorly subpar. That makes you go... God, I wish we could have done better. Uh, and a lot of that has to do with like action. When whenever the VFX had to be in motion, you could you, it, uh, it, there's a there's a part, and this isn't giving anything away. It's actually in the intro. It, it, I saw a lot of people commenting on it on on Twitter, um, where you meet Provis and and all the uh, I don't know I don't know the name, so I do apologize. It, it felt like Dementors from Harry Potter, right? I know they're not Dementors. That's my reference, and because I don't know, I'm I'm still stupid in this area, right? But when I, when all they sent the the legion of people to go get Prabhas, right, um, or Ram, um, the guy that was instructing them felt like a early two thousands video game character, <laughs> the cut like the lead guy from from all the the flying uh, characters. It was like Prabhas fighting a cartoon essentially what it was. And that happened a few other times in the movie where you're like, "Mm, God, I wish it was better because that's like the the biggest thing you can, you can gripe about this film is at certain times it's like, Oh man, if they, if you had a Marvel level budget, what this could be worldwide would be incredible. But yeah, so if you saw it in the trailer, you're still going to see it in the thing. And there's some characters, like there's trolls that that don't really look that good. At times, there's some... Uh, there's some um, and once again, I apologize. I don't know these characters' names because I called them monkeys in, in the Ramayana um, thing. And they somebody said it was some a different thing. And I apologize. I don't know what that thing is. I'm just... I'm meaning no offense. The gorilla characters sometimes look r- r- real bad uh in in their animation especially when they were in action you saw some of that in the trailer but at, to- at a lot of other times it actually looked really really good uh some of the vfx that i thought was actually really good was um once again i don't know what it's called but it felt like the bat dragon that scythe was was riding i felt they spent a lot of money on that vfx there and uh hanuman if I, I apologize if I'm not saying his name correctly, um, I thought they, his VFX of Randy's face was actually very very good. Uh, I liked it a lot, um, and there was some some cool VFX, kind of like Brahmaster with, with like lighting and stuff that was that was really really cool. They helped themselves a lot with a lot of this, oh, guy, uh, almost all of it, right? Being at nighttime. And that's a VFX trick to kind of uh, uh, help out if you don't have the budget to make your VFX better. And I've heard complaints saying, like, in this time in history, no one ever fought at night because you can't see. They didn't have the technology. They don't like, like, it would be stupid to fight at night because you can't see anything. I get that. But since this is a movie and the choices were either see even worse VFX or darken everything, I'm okay with them darkening it because then you can't see some of the bad VFX as much. So I was fine with that. So I, there, there are VFX problems. 100%. There are VFX problems. Wasn't as distracting as uh, the trailer would make it out to be, though. So that is a positive, right? Um, so I, I feel like... And I, maybe in the first teaser, uh, before they spent the, the, the second hundred that they did to help it even more maybe it was even worse but i think um it, it like i said the best comic i get it, it definitely wasn't as distracting and as prevalent 
like the bad VFX wasn't as prevalent as they would have made it out to be. Uh, so I thought they did a good job there. Uh, let's talk about the three main leads, right? Um, Sife actually was, I thought, really casted really well. I thought he, he plays a villain so cool. I love his when he plays villains because he has such an evil demeanor at times and, and that kind of stuff. I watched it in Telugu. It looked like he was speaking Hindi and they dubbed him in Telugu, right? So that was kind of disappointing for me, but, you know, it is what it is. His character was really cool, though. Um, and I thought he embodied um, um, Lakesh uh, really, really well. Um, they actually, I feel like, went a lot more into his character than anybody else's character from the anime version that I saw. I thought you got a lot more of Lakesh in this and um, him brooding or, or, or behind the scenes of, 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 of him than any other character. Um, so I thought he did a really good job. Prabhas, I thought, did a, a very good job as well. I liked his performance. When I, after I watched the anime version, and then I went back to watch the trailer, Prabhas struck me as an odd choice for Rom. And once again, the only reference I have for Rom is from the anime. Prabhas, even though he has an extremely warrior presence, and that's part of Rom, I was wondering, you know, I got from the anime, I got this extremely compassionate, caring, like, lo like really loving presence from Rom character in that, right? Which I, I felt Prabhas, even though he's a, an epic warrior and he, he feels like an epic warrior, it didn't convey that. I still felt that in the movie, even though there were some times that they, like the, the script writing helped show his compassion for everyone. Uh, that was the only downside to that is that I just feel like he just has such a dominating presence that I would have liked to see the kind of gentle side come out of him a little, even though like, I know they showed it sometimes. It's just, I would have liked to feel it more coming from him, you know? So that's my only gripe, but I liked his performance. I, he was, he was epic. He, he, um, kicked ass. He, he's great. At, his screen presence is amazing. Um, and he, he he did a really good job, kind of a Bahubali style of of uh, warrior at times, um, and so I, I believed him a hundred percent, and so that was great. Creedy, I thought she she definitely captured what um, I thought Sita, or in, in this one it was called Janaki, and I I apologize. Is it just is it because it's in Telugu? Is that why the names are changed? I don't know, but she's playing the Sita character. So I apologize if I'm just being dumb. I thought she did a great job. One character I really love is the guy who played Hanuma, which it's a different name here. And so I can't find it. Um, so I do apologize. But the guy who plays Hanuma, I love that character. I loved him in the anime. And I liked him in this. And I thought the VFX was, like I said, was very good on him. And... I, uh, God, I just, it felt like in three hours, there's another downside I had to it. I felt like in three hours, I didn't figure out any more about these characters than I did in the two hour anime movie. I felt like I actually learned more in the anime in terms of about them and their character than I did in this. Uh, and I still liked it. It's just, man, I thought in, in, you get an hour more of, of, of movie, I thought they'd get in a little more into it. Um, but maybe they, once again, they just assume you know about these guys. And so they weren't trying to introduce you to them at all. I don't know. I just, God, I would love a Hanuma movie. Cast that actor, make an entire Hanuma movie, live action movie. It would be epic. Cause I love that character. I love how, how funny he is. I love how epic he is. He's, he's a really insanely cool. Uh, and I know he's not just a character, but, um, I, I loved his character, and I would love to actually see more from his character. I would love to know more about all of them, because uh, that's one of the downsides. Is this, as I thought it was, I wanted to know more, which is, I guess, good. You 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 want a movie to come away from a movie wanting to know, wanting more, right? Um, you don't want them to give you anything, and they because they did give you stuff, but. Um, yeah, so that that was one of my other gripes. I love the background score 
insanely epic, beautiful. You, you heard me mumbling it in the beginning, and I apologize if I butchered it. Um, it just, it, it just moved you. It, it kept the story going. It, it complemented the emotion that needed to be carried. It complemented the, the insane um, battles that were happening in this uh, beautiful songs between Ram and Sita. Um, so I thought the, the score was, was very good in this. Um, another thing I was a little let down, though, I can't get into that because it's a little spoilers. There's stuff that just was a little disappointing in terms of anticlimactic of some battles that I was anticipating from the anime series. It's not series, a uh, movie. Um, that I was like, oh, I, I thought that would be longer and better. Um, there were some, some really good fight scenes. You still have to kind of, you still have to overlook a lot of the, the VFX, but there's some stuff, stuff that happened in it that wasn't in the anime that I was like, holy shit. <laughs> um, I was like, how they killed people. Uh, I was like, oh, that's, that was kind of insane. Um, so I, I thought the, uh, the direction was very good from, from Umraut. Uh, I apologize once again, if I'm saying that wrong. Um, but I, I was, like I said, I was thoroughly entertained through this, through this thing. I was excited for what was coming. I'm glad I knew what was coming next because it was, um, the people that would show up and you, they wouldn't explain. And so if I'd hadn't already been introduced to them, I'd be like, what the heck is going on? Who's this character? Um, they, there was very little that was changed from, um, the, the story that I saw in the anime. And so that was good. I'd say overall though, I, I, I enjoyed it and I, I would watch it again. Um, is it like a perfect movie? No, you definitely need to work on the VFX. Uh, I would have liked to know it could you could I think what they should do and maybe they're doing it for the Hindi one that they've casted Alia and, and Ren Beer in, which I love those castings. I think those are great. Um, make it into a three part series, man. This there is too much in this story to tell in two to three hours. There's too much. And you want to know you want to feel with you want to um care for these characters even more. And I know a lot of you like their, their religious characters uh, or people, right? Uh, and so you're already attached to them. But in a movie setting, I want to... You want to really feel when somebody dies. You want to really uh, emphasize those characters. And you can get more in-depth if you make it into a either a series, which probably for the budget you probably can do, right? But for like... Like they're doing Brahmastra. Make it into a three-part series. And then you could go really in depth, really in depth. And then the last one is like the last Lord of the Rings at Helm's Deep, or not Helm's Deep, the, wherever that last battle was. It could be that kind of an epic thing. I, I think that's what they should do because I like the story. I think it's a very entertaining story. And if you kept the VFX up, I think um, a lot of people in the West could have even appreciated. I think this is going to be hard for one. It's not a story that they know and they're, they don't really explain these characters a lot to you. So I think you kind of have to be familiar with it. But the VFX at times, like I said, probably 10 to 15 percent. Um, but the other like there's other times where the cinematography is just so beautiful when there's Sita and Ram on the river, when there's like there's so many beautiful things that they created that I loved. But then there's also the just, um, oh, God, you could have done that better, right, moments. But overall, I really enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you thought about it. Uh, I, I do want to get into some spoilers, so if you haven't seen it, um, please go away. Because I just want to talk about a few things. But let me know what you thought about it down below, and we're going to get some spoils here. Um... So I was, there was some stuff that I wanted to talk about. Um, like, <laughs> there's some stuff that just kind of confused me. And I, and I actually asked my wife this when I got home. The first one was, in the movie, once again, spoilers, when when Rom's brother dies or or is insanely injured by the by the snake biting, right? Um, and they, they tell Hanuma to go get the stuff. The only person that was hurt, at least to my knowledge, on screen was 
Rama's brother. And Anuma went and picked up the entire mountain. And I was confused. I was like, why do you need an entire mountain of the stuff if it's just one guy? Because I thought that was the motivation because there was so many people hurt in the anime version. Uh, and so you need a lot. I asked my wife and she says, well, in the in the comic book thing, they said he does it, he didn't know which one was which. And so to be safe, he took the entire mountain. And so I guess that that answers that question because that would that actually makes more sense. So I she I think answered my question. So once again, she's incredibly smart. Go watch the watch along. She's a very smart person. Um the other things that kind of disappointed me a little bit though, um were the the battles. So of of Lakesh's Lakesh, right? His sons, the ba those battles, which I thought were going to be a lot more epic. And the big sleeping giant warrior guy. I apologize for not knowing his name. That was, that was a pretty epic battle in the anime. It, it lasted like a minute and it was like a and it was gone. I was so disappointed. I was so looking forward to that fight. Uh, so that was very disappointing. Um, the end battle with, with Scythes and, and Prabhas was, was better. Uh, so that's good. Uh, there was another funny thing that I, that I was wondering why they did this. And maybe guy, Ram, I, I don't think he has super speed, but you guys can tell me if he does. I, it didn't look like he did. But when Sita got captured and, and Scythes character was taking her away on the bat thing. And then the eagle came which I think it was like a a vulture in the anime, but I don't know. When he came and tried to save her, right? And they were going all through the air. It's hundreds of miles an hour through these mountains. And Ram and his brother were running on the ground, looking up like they could see what was happening. But they were like, they were long gone. But they were running like they were keeping up with them. That didn't make any sense to me. I was like, yeah, well. <laughs> Unless you guys tell me that I, but it didn't look like because then he could have done it in the battle, and Hanuma was the one that had to carry him in the battle. So if you could explain that to me, or if it was just like a, they probably shouldn't have done that because if they were the, 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 as fast as the eagle and the, the bat were traveling, there's no way they they could have kept up with them. If I'm wrong, please explain to me. I'm just stupid, but that struck me as strange, right? Um. And then the other thing I'm talking about in the beginning, which was a really bad VFX, but a cool sequence. I like the introduction of Prabhas under the water and then he coming up and kicking ass, right? I, I like that whole sequence. I thought that was a lot of fun. But the guy that was instructing him, the CGI was laughably bad on that guy. Like the, the main bad guy in, when all those other things were flying around Prabhas. He was really bad. And then the battle between the two the, the gorilla that was trying to win back his thing. The, it was, it was computer animated VFX, like 2002 VFX. Uh, so that whole sequence wasn't that great. Um, not all, like I said, 10 to 15% was probably not really, really not good. Um, all the other stuff, actually, it wasn't, like I said, I'm just happy it wasn't as distracting as, as I was fearing it was going to be because I was really interested in how they were going to do this story. And I actually thought they did a good job uh, in making a entertainer uh, for, for the family, right? Um, I'm hoping the next one with Ranbir and Alia goes even more in depth and maybe even a little farther in terms of some of the violence. And I'm hoping much better VFX all the time. But... Uh, those are basically my thoughts. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy that I enjoyed it because, you know, with all the trailers, even though I was interested, you were still nervous going in because of some of the stuff. So you guys let me know what you thought about this movie. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, were you happy with what they did? Do you think I'm an idiot? doesn't matter. Uh, please let me know what you thought about this movie down below in Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram. I can't do it any justice, and I apologize for what I just did. Yeah.